Hello friends and welcome back to episode 2 of Simon the Sorcerer. We have been taken into another world and we find ourselves in this cute pub, the Druid's Head, and we need to speak to this group of wizards in the next room. That was our I've got clue two from cells, Calypso. Looks like they're playing Mahjong, but we will Work need to me. interrupt them, I think. So now excuse me. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Oh, God, they're proper country bumpkin wizards, aren't they? Right, uh, I'm looking for some wizards. I'm looking for some wizards. Know where I can find some. Oh, you ain't be seeing any round these parts, like. We be us humble farmers who are. Who are, and that be right. I be about as magical as a run of bean, like. <laughs> Are you, uh, are you sure you're not wizards? You sure you're not wizards? Quite sure, lad. We be country folk, born in wholemeal bread. Who are? Are you saying we be fakes like? Um, yeah. Yep. What makes you think we're wizards anyway, like? Um... <laughs> Uh, when I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Uh, when I move my yeah. mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguise is off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? <laughs> um, right. What do you know about uh, Calypso? What do you know about Calypso? We will not impart such information to you, a non-wizard. Stop wasting our time. What? So I'm the East Wind. Listen to me for a second. Yes, mate? Right. I want to be a wizard. I want to be a wizard. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. What? Right. Listen Make to me, me wizardy. For a second. Yes, mate? I will do anything to I'll be a wizard. I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything. Anything. Well, you could do us a little favour. You see... All you wizards must perform a service to the circle before being um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Mm. Hey, just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical right. staff rumoured to be hidden in this area. <gasps> and we would like you to find it for us. Very good. Uh, and then I get to be a wizard. And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. Oh, invest us. Okay, so what does it look like? What does this staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. Ooh, okay. And where is it? Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last owner was Nathlin, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. Tricky like those necromancer is always messing about with embalming fluid and giblets. Tuck fish and sod and probably buried with it. Okay, thank you, strange man in the orange hat. No problem. We look forward to your return. But so it. the prevailing wind is Off we go then. Yes. He needs to go looking for a staff. Where are we going to find a staff? Nubile Valkyrie. Right. Uh, so we've come from the left. Let's go off to the right and see what we can find. Oh, no way. Back at the blacksmith. Okay, fine. Let's go back up this way and we'll go off to the left. See what we can find down there. Right, so we've come down that passage and we've gone to the right. That's where the bar is. So we will need to go off to the left. Ah, here we are. And the music's changed. Electric flute. Okay, fine. Uh, 
I remember lots of these different little paths. Let's just take the main path going along here. What do we find? Oh my god! Ow! Oh, he doesn't look very ow, happy at ow, all. Ow. What's wrong, buddy? Can you help me, boy? <laughs> um, I I doubt it. I doubt it. Please, I've got this thorn stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. Uh, how can you survive with how that? How do you survive with such a near fatal wound? It's only the courage of a bear that prevents me from passing out. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at it. <laughs> Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Wow. There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, he is a rather large barbarian. He's literally the size of Simon and Hat while he sat down. Right, okay, fine. Let's carry on the main path. Oh, God, we come up here. Mm, I don't like the look of the trees over there to the left. Uh, let's keep going to the right. What's the awkward racket? Oh God! Can you shut up, please? Sorry, old chap. Can't hear you. Can you shut up for a minute? I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? Um, I'm just passing through. You can't. I'm just passing through. Oh. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. Ugh. Okay, fine. Uh, let's look at uh, this starry. Top right, then. Try and get around him. Ooh, what is this? What's the sign say? It says, Caution, Paleontological Dig in Process. Okay. Look at the hole. There's a strange man digging down there. Ah, there's a man there. Well, let's talk to the man. Hello. Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. The, what? The chickens? Why have you made a hole? Why have you dug a hole in the middle of the forest? Do you not know who I am? Mm. <laughs> You're a pirate? You're a pirate looking for buried treasure? No. I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. Oh, um, that, <laughs> of course. Of course, the renowned digger of deep holes. Philistine, I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. Uh, and you reckon you're going to find it down there? And you reckon you're going to find it down that hole? I am looking for fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? Fossils? Um, no. Uh, no. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Okay, very interesting. We haven't got anything from there, but we know he's looking for a fossil. Ooh. What's going on here? Dwarf mine. What is in here? Oi, dwarves only. I am a dwarf. Of course you are. Now sod off or we'll taste a sharp end of my spear. What? Nice people. Can I... Can I talk to them? I thought I told you to get lost. But I am a dwarf. Look, pal. Dwarves have beards. Now push off. I shaved it off. If you ain't out of my sight in three seconds. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're going to need to disguise ourselves as a dwarf, I think. Uh, dwarf. We did see a dwarf in the pub. 
but he was asleep and he wouldn't talk to us, so... What's going on with these doors? Uh, open. I think you have to open them from the inside. Right. Uh, I can't select that. I can't use the ladder to get back up to that window. No. Okay, interesting. We're learning, we're learning. We're learning all the time. Okay, we've got a weird looking tree and a cave. What's in the cave? Definitely looking a bit spookier down this way. Okay, can I get through this swamp? I mean, there is a door up there. I just want to know. I think I can then. I can go up there as well. Okay, so what's in this door? I'd better knock. <laughs> That is a depressed looking lizard if ever I saw one. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Huh? Oh, it is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Um are you some kind of bogey person? <laughs> Are you some sort of boggy person? Not a boggy person. I use one and only Swampling, the bestest cook in the land. People come for around miles to eat swamp stew. But it smells revolting. Let me out of here before I chuck up. Wow! <laughs> I thought you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me oh. on my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. Oh, it's your birthday? It's your birthday? It is. Nobody had arrived here yet. I is spending ages making swamp stew. And I is saving my money for hats and cakes. I invited all my bestest friends. I can't wait for them to get here. I had no idea it was your birthday. My actual birthday was two weeks ago. <laughs> I don't mind you being late, though. Everyone else is. I think your costume is really good. Uh, don't worry, though. I've come for your birthday. <laughs> sit! Sit! I bring special birthday stew. Oh, God. Has that been going for two weeks, then? I didn't agree to... Friend, I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe. Handed down from swamplin to swamplin for generations. Right. <laughs> I can't eat that. I'll die. Well, nobody likes swamplins cooking no more. I spent hours making stew and then have to throw it. No one comes to eat here now. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I will eat your stew. If it makes you any happier, I'll eat your stew. Goody! I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. Oh, God. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. <laughs> I think I hear someone. But it's not. I think some more friends have arrived. <laughs> no one there. Oh. I hope you like it. 
plenty more for friends. <laughs> no, horrible, lonely, emotionally abusive little lizard. Thank you, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it was delicious, but I really have to. Uh, let's be mean. Okay, just one more bowlful. Eat up! It's good for you! Oh no. <laughs> Can I pick up the stew? It's not mine to pick up. Uh, okay, what else can we do? We've got a bucket. Can we take the bucket? I couldn't rob him of his livelihood. I couldn't rob him of his livelihood. Ah, uh, fine. Sit! Sit! Oh, God. Eat up your stew! Uh... Remove? Can I remove I'm stew? not wearing it. <laughs> uh, eat it then. Not again! I'm sorry, Simon. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friends. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> I really have to go. It was delicious, but I really have to go now. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Have you got anything else to say? Talk to the dude. Oh, a chest. What's in the chest? It was never designed to be opened. Look at it then. It's an empty wooden chest. Can you pick up the chest? It's too big for me. Sit! Sit! Eat uh, up your stew! Um. Where give? Can I give something to this person? I don't think that I can. Uh, I assume that I need to eat the stew again. I can't hack any more of this stuff. I'm out of here. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. That was a lucky escape. Yeah, well, I assume I need to get hold of that fishing net, but I'm not sure what I need to do yet. Can I go anywhere else up here? No? Let's see what's off on the uh, the right side of the swamp then. Ooh. Very cool. Oh my god. Gruesome statue. Is it a statue? A statue of a really ugly barbarian. Clearly. Right. Oh, a small statue. A solid stone statue of a wizard. Well, it could be our wizard that's been frozen, maybe. Whoa, there's a giant. Right, so tree needs to get down there. Let's look at the tree. If I could find a way to knock it over, I could get across the chasm. Right, so I imagine we want flipping giants knock it over. I don't think I could shout loud enough to wake him. Can I use the There's whistle? There's no point. It's blocked up with something. Okay, the whistle's blocked. Ladder? Use the ladder that the doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work. All right, we've got a giant, so I imagine we want something to, I don't know, bang it with. So do I go back into 
the little green goblin's place. Let's uh, let's go back in. And let's see if any of the other options do anything for us. I knew you'd come back for more. Actually, I sit, sit. I bring you lovely stew. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a huge amount we can do. Can I talk to this guy? No. Hang on. Walk back here. Stew. Are you going to eat the stew? Go on. Eat the stew. No, we're not eating the stew today. And um, we're not picking up that stuff. Sit! Sit! <laughs> I think I need something to do with the stew. And I haven't got that. Open the door. Walk out. Bye bye, mm, little lizard that was dude. A lucky escape. Yeah, lucky escape indeed. Right, well, we'll come back to that in a bit. Come on. Off we go. Let's keep going. All right, what is going on with this tree? Um, can I go up there? No. Let's look at the tree. No, nothing going on with it. Looks like termites. Okay, so dwarf mine. We've looked at there. Oh no, I think we went right. Have we been right? Ooh, maybe we haven't. What have we got over here? Just a beautiful landscape. Oh, hello. I knew it was too good to be true. Ooh, woodcutter. We do need a tree removing. Excuse me? Yeah? Uh, you look like, uh... Oh, tell me what ails you. Tell me of what ails you, woodcutting person. It's not worth it. I may as well accept the future fate has planned for me. My life is in ruins. Um, oh dear. Um... Nonsense. It's never too late to be of good cheer. That's easy for you to say. What did I do to deserve this? Um, <laughs> I hope your bad luck's not catching. I hope your bad luck's not catching. It's not so much bad luck. My main woe is trees. Trees? Trees. The big okay. hard brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. <laughs> uh, why are they problems for you? I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. Not these trees around here. Not so special. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Okay. Um. <laughs> Were you holding the axe the right way around? I tried holding it in every way imaginable, <laughs> but to no avail. Uh, why don't you just go to a normal forest then? Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. Oh uh, dear, there must be something you can do. Oh, magical axe. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. <laughs> it's also the hardest metal known to man. Ooh. Um... Right, well, easy. Well, there you are then. Problem solved. No, it isn't. Milrith is incredibly rare. I don't know anyone that's ever seen it. Uh, have you tried the dwarves? Have you tried the dwarves? If you want Mithril, dwarves is fine. 
But those stunty buggers don't know anything about Melrith. When I asked, all they did was give me this metal detector. <laughs> well, why don't you give me the metal detector? Give me the metal detector, and I'll have a look round. Okay. You can't do any worse than me, I suppose. You're on. Interesting. Why didn't I listen to my mother? <laughs> oh, mother. What? I'm sure she would have told you the right things to do. Um, can I, how do I get down there? Looks like I can't. Okay, fine. Well, we go again. Right, well, Whoa, I think... Oh yeah, woe is you. I think this is probably the end of this episode. Uh, it's probably about half an hour from what I've recollected, so thanks very much for joining me again. Hope that you've been enjoying this blast from the past, uh, and I hope that you will join me again next time for a continuation of the adventure. Maybe we will talk to you. I'm getting a lot of dwarves uh, in the clues so far, so if we go and maybe visit that dwarf in the pub next episode. Anyway, take care of yourselves all and look forward to catching you again next time. Bye!